Hey, where did you disappear to? You can't just bounce from your seat in the middle of the ceremony like that. What's up with you? Seriously. And hey, just because I'm your hubby, now everyone's giving me those what's up with your spouse kind of looks. Ah, thanks a lot. I'm sorry, but I really can't handle this at the moment. I just started experiencing contractions and it seems like I'm about to go into labor, so I'm rushing to the hospital. Currently, the pain isn't too intense, but if it returns, I may not be able to message you. I apologize for any inconvenience, but could you please pass along my greetings to your family on my behalf? I appreciate your understanding. No way. Are you kidding me? Get your butt back here pronto. It's been forever since you last saw my family, and this is how you decide to bail? Don't you feel even a tiny bit guilty about it? I have no control over contractions, you know. I didn't purposely do this to upset you or anything like that. Besides, you invited me to the wedding. I distinctly remembered mentioning that the baby is due this month, and there's really no way to predict when I'll give birth. I couldn't care less about that. This is my little sister's freaking once-in-a-lifetime wedding, okay? It's meant to be the most joyful and memorable day of her entire existence. It's not the same as popping out a baby. You can do that as many damn times as you please. What exactly are you trying to imply here? Giving birth is a significant and potentially risky experience for a woman, you know? It's not something to be taken lightly. This is my first time going through it, so it's not about how many times I can or can't do it. Oh, please. Putting your life at risk to give birth? Give me a break. We're not stuck in the medieval era, you know? These days, medical technology is so advanced that there's absolutely no reason to be risking your precious life. And hey, remember when you mentioned they can knock you out with anesthesia so you won't feel a thing? Well, there you go. Just use that and pop that baby out without any problems. It's as simple as that, apparently. Just because we call it a painless childbirth doesn't necessarily mean it's 100% painless. And you are acting like giving birth is the easiest thing in the world. There is no way you're looking down on pregnant women in this day and age. Oh, naturally? I would totally look down on a woman who just bailed on her sister-in-law's wedding like that. I mean, even if I drag myself to work with a stomachache, I'm pretty sure it's not as dramatic as you're making it out to be. The very least you could do is tough it out and deal with the pain until the ceremony was done. Jeez. Seriously? I can't even believe what you're saying. Contractions and a regular stomach ache are like night and day, okay? They're not even in the same league. Sure, I've dragged myself to work with all sorts of annoyances like stomach aches, back pain, headaches, and cramps. But come on, labor pain is on a whole other level. Were you dozing off during your 6th grade half class or what? They're absolutely not comparable. Oh please, weddings aren't just any old party, alright? They're on a whole different level. Guess what? I was supposed to give a speech at the damn reception, but you conveniently decided to leave without even bothering to inform me. Who the hell do you think you are? No consideration whatsoever. Look, that's not the point here. Just so you know, when I start feeling those contractions, it means the little one is ready to make an appearance. Luckily, my water broke while I was in the bathroom, but if it hadn't, it would have been a total chaos for everyone at the wedding. Ah, gross. Is that what you were up to in there? How utterly embarrassing. Peeing yourself in the middle of a wedding? That's absolutely unheard of. I hope you had the decency to clean up your own mess. If you made someone else deal with your disgusting accident, you can bet your bottom dollar I'd be furious. A genuinely kind person was there and they came to my aid. They were so helpful, you know. They even called a taxi for me to get to the hospital. I was hoping you'd be even a little bit concerned about my well-being. I suppose I should have known better because it's obvious that you prioritize your sister over your own wife and child. Oh, please. I don't have the time or energy to be worried about you right now. All you're doing is having a baby for crying out loud. You're totally overreacting. It's not even that big of a deal. We're talking about my precious little sister's wedding here, okay? So just hurry up and get your act together. I expect you to come back ASAP. I already told you. I can just come back right away. 
And let's not forget, the only reason I was even invited to that wedding was because you practically begged them to include me. So, there's no really a point in pressuring me to be there. Well, you don't smoke and you don't drink, so you should be in pretty good shape. What's there to worry about? You'll have a healthy baby anyway. Look, that's not the issue here. I can't believe how stubborn and clueless you're being right now. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can keep having this conversation. This whole situation is completely new to me. It's my first time going through this whole baby thing and I'm doing my best to not completely lose it. Believe it or not, your attitude is actually making things worse. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown here because you decided to live in the middle of my sister's wedding. Maybe, just maybe, you should think before pulling stunts like this. Do you even consider how I would feel? Or how my dear sister and everyone else at the wedding would feel? Clearly not, because you're too wrapped up in your own little world. It feels like this conversation is going to go on forever, so I'll talk to you later. Dorothy, how are you and the baby holding up? Colin mentioned that you were having contractions and had to rush to the hospital. I hope you made it there safely. Could you please update me on how the delivery went? I really hope everything went smoothly and both you and the baby are doing well. Mom, thank you so much for checking in. I really appreciate it. I'm happy to say the delivery went well. The baby came out smoothly and thankfully it didn't take too long. But let me tell you, I've never experienced this level of pain in my entire life. It was intense. Oh, thank goodness. I'm so relieved to hear that everything went well. And I'm glad your labor was short. Unlike my experience with Colin, I was in labor for a whopping 23 hours. But hey, every birth story is different. I'm sorry if I didn't notice earlier or wasn't there for you. Normally, you should have had someone by your side during such a significant moment. No worries at all. I totally understand that your daughter's wedding was a big deal and it just wasn't the best timing for all of this to happen. Right now, I'm just so relieved that I finally get to see my baby's face. But I do feel genuinely sorry for having to leave in the middle of the wedding. I feel pretty bad about it. And you don't need to worry about that. Childbirth is one of those things that just can't wait. I do feel bad that I couldn't be there to take you to the hospital, though. By the way, Colin has been in a foul mood all day. Did something happen between you two? Is everything alright? About that? Well, you know how I had to leave during the wedding because the contractions kicked in? Colin seems to be really upset about it. I've tried explaining it to him a hundred times, but he just doesn't want to hear it. Oh, I see. Colin has always been so protective of his little sister, but that doesn't give him the right to be upset with his own wife just because she was going through contractions. Honestly, that's really childish behavior on his part. I'm sorry about the whole situation, and please allow me to apologize on his behalf. He should understand that childbirth is unpredictable and can happen at any moment. You don't need to apologize for him, Mom. I'm sorry for keeping you in the dark about it. And I'm sorry this happened to you during such an important time in your life. But I can help but wonder if something else happened. I know Colin can't be solely angry about the childbirth situation. So what else is going on? Please know that you can always confide in me and tell me anything. I'm here for you, dear. No, seriously. That's all there is to it. It would have been more understandable if something else had actually happened, but that's it. He just got really upset with me for leaving during the wedding, and he kept insisting that I come back. What? You did tell him about the contractions, didn't you? I did. I also told him that my water broke when I was in the bathroom, but he said that the women who pee themselves are disgusting. Are you serious right now? I'm sorry if it seems like I'm trying to defend him, 
just because he's my son. But I honestly can't wrap my head around him saying something like that. This boy went to university for crying out loud. I'm pretty sure he took a human anatomy class at some point. It's hard to believe that he doesn't even have a basic understanding of pregnancy. It's just baffling. I am being serious. I can send you screenshots of the chat if you want. That way, you'll understand it more. Yes, of course. Please show them to me. Okay, let me send them now. Are you absolutely sure we're talking about Colin here? Because that just doesn't sound like him at all. Whenever he's with us, he's always been such a well-behaved and respectful kid. I find it incredibly difficult to believe that he could say something like that to his own wife. It's beyond disgraceful. My husband and I did our best to raise him to be a decent and respectful man. I can't even begin to fathom how this happened. And I don't know where to begin with. An apology. You don't need to apologize. This issue is between me and Colin, so it's not your fault at all. I've noticed that he tends to act polite and all when he's around you, but this time, I just can't forgive him for how he treated me. He's had his moments of being a bit rude in the past, but what happened this time is on a whole new level. Oh, definitely not. That boy can be so foolish at times. It's hard to believe he's actually my own son when he behaves like that. I understand. Sorry for bringing this up at such a time, but I thought it might be a good opportunity to talk about something that's been on my mind. To be honest, I've been contemplating getting a divorce. Yes, of course. I wouldn't want to see you continue to be treated this way any longer. So I think it's a good idea to consider a divorce. I fully support you in making this decision. Ultimately, it's your life and your happiness that matters the most. I don't have the authority to stop you or interfere in your choices. Just know that I'm here for you no matter what you decide. Thank you, and just one more thing. Absolutely, my dear. I'm here to listen and support you. If it's all right with you, I can head over to the hospital right away. Would that be okay? Or if you'd rather talk on the phone and have a conversation from the comfort of your own space, that's completely fine as well. Just let me know what works best for you, and I'll be there, physically or virtually, to lend you an ear and offer my support. I appreciate your concern, but I really want you to come and meet your grandchild. I would love it if you could come. But are you sure you can come even though the wedding just ended? I'd imagine you have preparations to make for the reception. It's fine. My daughter-in-law just gave birth. I want to be there more than anything. My daughter will understand. Okay, I just don't want you to come with Colin. Honestly, I don't really want to see him at all. Of course. I'll leave without telling him anything. Don't worry. Thank you. Hello, Calvin. This is Dorothy. I just wanted to thank you earlier for calling the taxi for me to go to the hospital. Oh, hello. I'm glad you decided to text me. I was a bit worried. I hope everything went well. Yes, I gave birth to a healthy baby girl. If it weren't for you, I probably would have been in big trouble. Thank you. Don't mention it. I hope you don't mind me asking, though. Did you come with anyone else? I can't imagine you came to the wedding on your own while being so far with your pregnancy. Nah, I came with my husband. He really wanted me to come. I see. Yeah, he probably would have been the one to help me if he wasn't such a selfish idiot. He didn't even care that I was literally about to give birth. Well, that sounds pretty terrible. I'm sorry about that. My bus is about to pass by your hospital in a few minutes. If you don't mind, I could bring you a snack. Aw, oh, you don't have to. 
Actually, a snack sounds amazing right now. <laughs> See you in a few then. Look, I'm heading to the reception right now, so you better get a move on and come with me. I can't believe you had the audacity to leave my sister's wedding just because of some contractions or whatever. The least you could do is show up now and make up for it. Don't keep us waiting any longer. Oh, I'm sure you could have handled a little thing like contractions. It's not like it's some life-threatening emergency or anything, but let me make this crystal clear. If you don't get your ass back here right now, we're done. We're getting a divorce. I won't put up with your selfishness and drama any longer. So make your choice wisely, because this is your last chance to salvage anything from this train wreck of a relationship. Okay, sure. Sounds good to me. Wait, what? What did you just say? Yeah, let's just get the divorce over with, shall we? Seems like that's what you're so eager for. I'll take care of filling out the form. So all I need is your signature, right? All right then, bye. Hold on a minute. Are you really sure you're okay with this? I mean, I half expected you to be all teary-eyed, begging me to stay with you or something. It's just surprising how easily you're agreeing to a divorce. I'm just a bit taken aback, you know? I thought this would be a tough decision for both of us. But it seems like you're ready to move on without a second thought. Oh, for sure. You're not okay with it now. But it was actually your idea in the first place, remember? And honestly, I'm better off without a useless husband like you. I deserve someone who actually respects and values me. So, yeah, it's gonna be just me and my child from now on. We'll do just fine on our own. Wait a sec. Don't you think we should give this a bit more thought? Divorce isn't exactly a decision you can just agree to on the spot, you know. If you want, I'll give you some time to think about it. Well, I thought about it too, and I still want a divorce. It's clear to me that you're just a big old piece of trash with an even bigger mouth and attitude problem. Frankly, I don't need that kind of negativity in my life anymore. I deserve better than what you've been offering, and I'm ready to move on and find happiness without you holding me back. So yeah, I am sticking to my decision. What did you just say? Who do you think you're talking to like that? You idiot! I'm talking to you, Colin! Unless this is someone else's number! You big brat! Who else would I be talking to? I've been putting up with their maturity for so long. I'm so sick of it! Don't you dare talk to me like that. If you keep acting tough like that, you'll regret it. The only one who is actually regretting anything is you. <laughs> because you're the only one who would find himself in trouble after our divorce. You are a jobless bum who's been living off my paycheck this whole time after all. This whole time? Stop exaggerating. It's only been like six months, okay? I was just taking a little break from working. Nope. You've been out of a job for approximately 11 months. You've been so lazy. Did you forget how to count two? Huh? Has it really been that long? Do you know how much I've been putting up with this garbage? I don't have the time to be providing for you anymore. I have a new life to start with my new baby. I've been thinking of getting a job, but the jobs I've had up until now are pretty tough. So I've just been taking a little break. Don't underestimate me. Whatever. If you really wanted to, you would have already gotten a job by now. You don't have a job and you don't even help around the house. You're trash. Not to mention, misogynistic. You're always on about housework as a woman's job, even though you yourself don't have a job. That's just the way it is, though. Women are good at housework. Nobody ever taught me how to clean or anything. Women are supposed to cook and clean. That's just how it is. Now, you are the one who sounds like you're from the medieval era. You're the only man who I've ever heard speak like that. It's disgusting. And women aren't born knowing how to cook or clean either. Those who know how to do those things work hard to learn regardless of their gender. You shouldn't be acting like the man of the house while you can't even do anything for yourself. Stop running your mouth. If my family knew about this attitude you're having with me, they'd be really sad about it. 
When you divorce me, you won't be able to see them anymore. Your family is actually quite disappointed with you. Your mother and father are both at the hospital with me. I've shown the both of them the things you've been saying to me and how you've been treating me. What? Why are my parents with you? They both come to meet their grandchild. Meanwhile, you're hanging out and laughing with your sister's cute little friend. What? You saw that? I'm not blind, Colin. Since it seems that you're more interested in her, then just gives you all the more reason to divorce, wouldn't you say? No, wait. If you want me to be there too, then tell me the hospital. I'll go over there right now. I never said I wanted you to come. I actually never wanted to see you again. <laughs> so don't waste your time. We're getting a divorce, remember? Your parents are on board too. The only thing you have to do right now is shut up and sign the divorce papers. That's it. What? My parents agree with the divorce? Yep. When I told them how you were leeching off of me, they couldn't stop apologizing. So if we divorce, who's going to raise the child? You can't do it by yourself. As if you were going to help me in the first place. Besides, I might have met someone. I'm not sure how it's going to go, but I'm testing the waters. You're already cheating on me? You're such a nasty woman. Remember who that child's father is. It's not cheating if I'm single. <laughs> and even though you are my baby's father, I know for a fact that you wouldn't have even lifted a finger to help me. Oh yeah, since I'm the only one paying rent and I'm going to have to ask you to leave. If you want, I can pack up your stuff and throw them out for you. Huh? I have to move out? But what about our life together? Wow, are you seriously pulling my leg right now? What do you think? Obviously, you have to move out. <laughs> it's crystal clear. I mean, come on, can you even read? I made it pretty darn clear that I never want to lay eyes on your face ever again. So, if you don't want me to toss your stuff out onto the curb, you better have that room cleaned out by the time I get back. Consider this your final warning. Please, can you do me this one favor? Could you please send my belongings to my parents' house? I guess that's the only option I have left. It looks like I'll have to rely on them and live there for now. It sounds like your parents plan on cutting you off, so I don't think you can do that. I told them everything about you pretend to be a good person in front of everyone except me. They said they feel really bad that they spoiled you so much. It sounds like you're out of options. Wait, are you kidding me? So if my family cuts ties with me, who's going to be there to support me when I move? What am I supposed to do in this situation? Why are you even asking me? Honestly, I couldn't care less about what happens to you, idiot. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, the sister you seem to adore so much is also completely done with your nonsense. It's about time to start fending for yourself and taking responsibility. You're nothing but a spoiled piece of garbage. So, go ahead and enjoy your newfound independence. It's time for you to face the consequences of your actions and learn to live on your own. After that incident, Colin couldn't even manage to get the address of the hospital. So, he missed out on the opportunity to meet his own child. To make matters worse, his family was absolutely furious and completely cut ties with him. Left with no other choice, Colin was left scrambling to find a job and figure out how to survive on his own. It's kind of ironic, really. After being so arrogant his whole life, maybe this is the wake-up call he needed to finally realize just how useless he truly is. Sometimes, life has a funny way of teaching us valuable lessons. And maybe, just maybe, this challenging situation will be the catalyst for Colin's much-needed personal growth and self-awareness.